Hi, I'm No Last Bridge. Today we're gonna be watching 20 games that trolled YouTubers. And this is by T5G. The original video will be in the description box below. Please comment what you want me to react to next. And let's see this video that trolled the games that trolled YouTubers. Well, you can say gamers. The puppy plates I'm messing with Markiplier through an Easter egg that humiliated XQC. What? These are 20 video games that trolled YouTubers. Ninja is one of the most popular streamers in the world, but when Fortnite first blew up, he had one controversial take that roasted the devs. I'm pretty upset that there have been no new skins. I literally am trying to throw money at the game. Dude, I would buy a toilet plunger as an axe. So, well, let's just say the devs took this personally. In the next update, fans rushed to the item shop and here you'd find the plunger. I mean, talk about getting what you asked for. It's a, it's a, the plunger? When XQC was playing a game called Convenient, he found a videotape that said XXX on the front. Being the curious streamer that he is, he threw it into the VHS player, and it turns out he completely fell for the devs' trap. What? Oh my god. What the f*** is that? <laughs> What the f is that? Simulacra has a horror game that took things even further when Jacksepticeye tried to break into a phone and instantly regretted it. It asked who the phone belongs to, and when he wrote down the original owner, the game denied it, telling Jack to put his real name instead. Maybe he should have listened because instead he wrote his YouTube name. What? What? How does it know my full real name? In high on life, you'll come across the villain that claims to be holding your parents prisoner, but instead, he trolls a small YouTuber. His name is something like Lachinsky Games or Blackjack, doesn't really matter, but I'm sure it probably helped this dude's career a lot. Uh, hey, it's me, Jack Black. Okay, I'm the hunter. Wait, isn't he hacking? When he worked for Achievement Hunter, he discovered that NPCs and Hitman would check on dead bodies just to die in the exact same way. The video blew up and must have reached the developers because when he loaded up the latest chapter, Gavin was shocked to hear this. It freaks me out. How can a pup kill 70 people? <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> so it appeared they're all lured to this electric pup, drawn to it somehow. Sometimes the greatest Easter eggs are the ones you least expect. And when Dan TDM decided to check out a horror game called Evil Nun, nobody warned him about the troll that was about to happen. On the menu, there's an option to name your character, so naturally, he wrote Dan TDM, not realizing that it made the game do this. Wait. Hey guys, Dan here. Welcome back to another video where today we're going to be playing Evil Nun. Wait, what? Hold on a second, wait. It's always annoying when a game glitches out and you have to start all over again. This happened to Bendy and the Ink Machine to a small YouTuber named TZ, who got pretty far only for a glitch to trap him in a room. Oh, no. I get it, we've all had our fair share of raging, but when TZ returned to where he smashed his headphones, the devs trolled him in the best way. <laughs> That brings us to this discovery that Markiplier made while exploring Subnautica. After making a ridiculous amount of videos on it, you would expect the devs to notice, and that is exactly what happened. Yeah! Yeah, look at me! Oh, that's so cool. And this wasn't the only time Mark got trolled, because in Poppy Playtime 2, he was just minding his own business when this cardboard cutout appeared. And with a button like that, I mean, you gotta press it. Okay, all right. Well, I'm assuming that you just Googled that because that's pretty public information. One thing that always makes me laugh is when a game straight up roasts YouTubers, and that's what happens in a cave midway through The Witcher 3. Here you'll come across a couple trolls who talk to each other with the weirdest dialogue. Club, with when you go ahead and start fighting them, you realize the devs literally turn YouTubers into huge farting trolls. And it's gotta be one of the funniest things I've ever seen. If you're still in the mood to fight your favorite creators, the Choo Choo Charles has an amazing Easter egg. The developer received a message asking him to put a moist critical reference in the game because they're both named Charles. And without hesitation, he said yes. What we weren't expecting was the Easter egg to be way more than just a simple tribute, as entering the word moist into the so cheat scary. menu will activate critical mode. And he straight up becomes the villain of the game. In 2008, Brad from 4 Player Podcast was playing GTA 4 and found an NPC driving around that got him a little too excited. Uh, Scooter, brother! 
This video went so viral that when Grand Theft Auto 5 released, people were shocked to hear Trevor saying this. We are Scooter Brothers! Scooter Brothers! But at least it wasn't an embarrassing mistake that got immortalized. Now there's a ton of ways to mess up Insurgent Simulator. It's part of the fun. So nobody expected PewDiePie to perform a heart transplant and put it in upside down. It's an... It's an... It's an Italia! This moment became so iconic that anyone who tried... These not-so-sour fruits are causing a fruit fight in the patch. Sour Patch Kids. Sour, sweet, gone. And to recreate it, we'll get rewarded with a special achievement. In Castlevania, Simon's Destiny is a fan-created mod for Doom. So naturally, it's full of Easter eggs. Anyone who tries to find them might be taunted for it. After completing a long series of steps, you break the final block just to be met by the angry video game nerd doing this. Sword Simulator 3 is the master of roasting people. In fact, the city level has an Easter egg really dedicated to trolling it's just Twitch. Boring. Billboards is a direct ripoff of the Twitch logo, but instead it's called Stream, and the chat box icon is, I mean, you know what it is. Speaking of weird objects, PewDiePie has a lot of running gags, wow. but one of the most iconic was his classic friend Stefano from Amnesia. This little statue became hugely popular, and so when Felix played Cry Up Here, he discovered his old friend in a secret room. Stefano! What they are doing? <laughs> When it comes to Fortnite, there's no greater honor than getting your own Icon series skin. But when Loser Fruit got the chance, the devs absolutely trolled her. She was always getting messed with by stream snipers. So when Peely, Tomato Head, and Rabbit Raider appeared on her backpack, she immediately knew what they were referencing. These are the skins that her stream snipers always wear. So now she carries them around forever. Another channel that deserves recognition is Outside Xbox. They have three hosts, Jane, Andy, and Mike, who absolutely love Hitman, and they each have their own special way of playing it. Jane loves the high bodies in the ocean, Andy leaves no witnesses, and Mike, well, Mike likes to blow things up. It turns out in Hitman 2, you can find their names on a hospital board that says they all died of three things. Hydration, calls not found, and of course, explosions. And if you're watching this video on a Wednesday, this Easter egg is perfect. In the latest postal game, you can grapple up to the top floor and find this iconic frog. Without even starting the Easter egg, most people could tell what this is. And if you don't, activating the frog plays a familiar sound from the YouTuber Jimmy here. It is Wednesday, my dudes. We know where it's from, Terrell. Big Mooney is a YouTuber known for his Hitman speed runs, but these aren't ordinary runs. He literally just sprints up to the target, shoots them point blank, and gets out of there fast as possible. I'll admit it's pretty funny, and the devs must have agreed, which is why something special happens when you kill everyone on the Miami Grand Prix level. They hired an impersonator to do an impression of Big Mooney, and it's hilarious. Anyone still alive? I'm even if you don't watch German 985, it's hard to deny that this man's face is everywhere. He's adored no, by his community, and that's why it's no surprise to find a small cameo at Gary's mind that freaks people out. In the map GM Golden City, you can find this creepy red room with a button. Pressing it makes some weird noises, but it's not until you go outside that the sky has Ooh. completely changed. The clouds are now filled with the face of Germa, and anyone who doesn't know him is definitely not sleeping tonight. As my 20 YouTubers troll by video games, hope okay. you all enjoy and that's it for um for bad 20 games that trolled youtubers and that was by g5g um it was weird they had speed in here and he wasn't in here so i guess um i want to start a gaming channel but later um i the gaming channels i watch is Jazzy Guns, Berlizzi. Well, I watch Berlizzi sometimes. Because some of, I want him to finish Dangaropa. He needs to finish Dangaropa. Uh, I watch Dante every once in a while. I watch PG, Tasha, Barefoot Tasha, A. Christine. I watch, yeah, I watch almost all of them. And if you don't know who they are, I really recommend you watch them because they are black, okay? And a recent video will be in the description box below. And please comment what you want me to react to next. And goodbye.